Why is LEGO Speed Champions so good? I'm sure I don't have to sell it super hard. If you clicked on this video, you probably love these cars. But I want to give five points about why LEGO Speed Champions is such a great theme. My name is Bricks and Kit, and I love to bring all sorts of LEGO car content. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm excited to break in to these points with you. Let's start with the first one. It's convenient. They're little cars. They don't take up a lot of space. You can fit four or five on a shelf. I fit four to six on my own shelves, which is much more convenient than a big ship or castle, which could be your thing as well. But I'm just saying that these cars don't take up massive amounts of space and allow for you to get more. And they're short builds. They don't take a long amount of time, maybe an hour maximum per car if you're wanting to take your time and enjoy the process, which allows for you to have fun with them, not feel like you're trying to stress to finish up so you don't have strewn Lego pieces all over your desk and the boxes aren't huge, you're able to take them from place to place. It's not a lot of traveling or space to take up when you go out and buy these sets. Secondly, it's entertaining. These cars are colorful, they're not repetitive, and they're exciting. I picked kind of a exciting selection here to sit next to, but when you have a yellow AMG and you walk into someone's room or someone's office and they have that, it's gonna catch your eye amongst a pretty bland and colorless world we live in to this point, which allows for a lot of fun with these Lego cars. And they're not repetitive, even though they're 250 pieces, 300 pieces, Lego designers come up with ways to make them unique and different, which allows for a lot of fun while building them. And the theme's independent, although it's fun to collect them. If you wanted one Lego Speed Champion, you could totally want and done it. And you don't feel the need to have to get more. I mean, a race is two cars, so maybe two is something you'd like to do. But whereas if you get like a Star Wars set or a Knight set, you need more enemies and bad guys to fight. Whereas you could simply roll it with one car and enjoy it. It's also cheap. You're not selling an arm and a leg to buy this theme. Which is a problem with Lego sets today is they have a large price tag attached to collecting a significant amount of them. When a Lego Speed Champions wave is four to six cars and maybe $150 top, which is not bad considering the value and how much fun and time you get out of them. It's a couple thousand pieces as you add them all up together. And finally, point number five, it's collectible. You just want to line these things up. My favorite Speed Champions is the last one I built. And having so many different variants of cars and so much we haven't touched yet in the theme allows for LEGO just to keep creating them for us to want to add them to the, our collection. It also forces you to explore you know, different ideas and cars that you may have not have thought of before. I haven't spent much time thinking about BMWs or AMGs till I really built these. You know, oftentimes we're distracted by cooler cars like Ford GTs and McLaren Solaces that are wild and captivate the mind. When even just simple, cool, basic cars like this, of course, basic for like a supercar world, can really set some enjoyment. And so these are five reasons why I think this Lego theme is so good. And I hope you agree with them. If you have any more points to add, let me know in the comments below. I love hearing your guys' opinions. I'm hoping to produce more Talking Head videos like this. I think it's fun to do. It's a little more personal. If you want more, check out the one right after this.